Today I am covering a news event regarding CCS charging. The CCS Combo 1, or I'll refer to as CCS for this video, is currently available in South Korea for the Model 3 and Y. This allows charging at up to 500 volts and up to 300 amps, which means that the peak is limited to 150 kilowatts. This might be less in the real world, say around 100 to 120 kilowatts. The South Korea adapters were not working in the U.S. until the recent 2021.40.6 update. There are now reports of users with the imported adapters that can charge up to 110 kilowatts before tapering to between 77 and 90 kilowatts for most of the charging session. On trips, having the ability to DC fast charge at other locations is good when a supercharger is not available nearby. However, these numbers are a little disappointing since the Model 3 and Y support up to 250 kilowatts charging on a V3 supercharger. But this is still significantly higher than the 40 to 50 kilowatts provided by the Chatamo adapter that until recently has been on Tesla's website for purchase. You can watch this video in the upper right for my review of the Chatamo adapter and a charging test. The big news is that the adapter will only be compatible with newer 2020 versions of the Model 3 and Model Y. Years 2017 through 2019 do not have the hardware needed, specifically the Powerline Communication or PLC chip. Tesla has said the adapter will be available in North America soon, most likely on the Tesla website and probably also at service center locations. Let me show where to look this up on your Tesla Model 3. Go to the car's main menu and then press the software button to go to that screen. Look for the Additional Vehicle Information button and press that. Now there is a window that shows the current option settings for the car. Mine happens to say Not Installed, which isn't surprising since it is a 2018 model year. If you have a 2020 or newer, you should see Enabled. Since Model Y came out in 2020, all Model Y should be compatible. There is no word whether Tesla will offer an upgrade to older Tesla Model 3 or not. For example, the pedestrian warning system could be added to some Model 3s in the 2019 to 2020 model year. But older ones like mine, Tesla has told me that they cannot upgrade due to the harness has nowhere to plug into. I suppose we will have to wait until there is an official response from Tesla. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.